Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Deadlands. I'm on my Magicka Warden with the Maelstrom set Winterborn. It's an aggressive uh, proxy. When you deal frost damage, you summon an Ice Pillar that deals 5k frost damage to all enemies in a 3 meter radius. It also decreases the movement speed by 50%. The cooldown is 4 seconds because it goes for 2 seconds. It hits for like 4k max hit in BG, so non-CP, CP probably even 5k. Pretty strong, perfect for a Magicka Warden. In combination with the, the other 5 CP bonus called Steadfast, it gives major protection if we purge ourselves, which is easy going on the Warden in general with Blue Betty or the other morph, Natural, which uh, removes one negative effect every 5 seconds. You can recast it instantly to purge yourself for free. In combination with the mythic item, Malakad, and on the front bar, a Master Perfected Eye Stuff, which gives 600 spell damage, well more, 700 in total with the first set piece bonus. And we need this here for Frost Clench. It's a little bit less damage than the uh, Fire Clench, but it immobilizes the enemy and inflicts major maim 10% damage reduction. Another advantage with the Ice Staff is this passive here, Try Focus. If you fully charge Heavy Attack with an Ice Staff, you gain a Shield, which absorbs a good amount of damage. Then one set piece bonus of uh, Magma Incarnate for Magicka and Stamina region. Don't look at the traits. I don't have Transmus Stones left, that's why they are so mixed. It would be better full Impen of course, or 5 Impen 2 with it, 5 Impen 1 sturdy 1 with it. It depends on your playstyle. I'm on 3 heavy pieces and 4 Light armor pieces on the jewelry, one infused, two healthy. Like I said before, I'm out of stones. Full infused spell damage would be better here. Front bar ice stuff in sharpened, near is also possible. With the berserker griff and back bar, a sword in powered for extra healing and a shield in sturdy for low cost reduction. Skills front bar fetch infection which applies minor vulnerability, so 5% extra damage and it's a pretty damn strong dot on top. Deep Fissure, then Frost Clench, our spammable Bird of Prey for Mage Expedition and minor Berserk and Elemental Drain, mostly for Major Breach, almost 6k penetration. Our ultimate Northern Storm, which gives major protection too, 15% max magicka for 30 seconds, decreased the movement speed by 40% and deals a ton of AoE frost damage. Back bar Shimming Shield for Majorism and to absorb all projectiles, one of the strongest skills out there. Blue Betty to be able to proc stand fast and for Major Sorcery and Sustain, Leeching Vines for extra healing and for Major Manding, thanks to this passive here. Ice Fortress for minor protection and our resistance buff. Arctic Blast, which deals a ton of damage on a Magicka Warden and it heals and stuns too. As defensive ultimate spare wall alternative, I use the trees here. Race, I'm not, just because it's my stamina warden normally. I think High Elf or Dunmore or even Breton is definitely better. Mundus Stone, the Atronach for Magicka Region, Clockwork Citus Filet for more Magicka Region, 34 points in Magicka and 30 points in Health. Potions, I mainly use the Trice Potions. CPs, Blue One, Steady Aim, Master at Arms, Do the Sweep Buff and Ironclad like always. Red one, Celebrity, Slippery, Sustain by Suffering, and Paints Refuge. Let me show you two powerful PvP combinations. Start always with Elemental Drain, 
try to apply it, it costs nothing and gives almost 6k penetration. Then deep fissure, into infection, into clench. In the end you can also bash if you want. Try to light or heavy attack in between, like this. Now with ultimate, same stuff again, element drain, deep fissure, infection, ulti and then clench. Now with some gameplay footage with my Magicka Warden, again some battlegrounds. The reason why I only use battlegrounds at the moment, it's simple, no lag, I don't have to wait 10-15 hours for a good decent clip, it's just in general more comfortable for me. All of my PvP builds are also nice for Zero Deal. Enjoy the footage. That's the end of another PvP build, thanks for watching guys and I see you hopefully in the next video, ciao!